Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video, I am going to install Space Acres 1, uh, 0.1.0 uh, with this release. It now has 3H support. 3G is no longer supported. <clears throat> I have a fresh drive here that I'm going to be filling. It is about two terabytes. Let me see if I can get this added. Uh, window capture. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. I have this 1.81 terabytes. Uh, it's actually an NVMe drive hooked up via USB. So I'm really curious to see how this works. I, I don't even know if it's supported, but uh, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to hide this. And first thing we're going to do is I need it for Windows. So I'm just going to download the MSI. And I will, yeah, there's a little warning here, you know, may contain a virus. It's as long as you're on the Nazar-PC Space Acres repo, you should be good. I also got this blue Windows protected my PC. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Windows. Uh, just click more info and then run anyway. This is a trusted source. <clears throat> Let me see if I can bring up the install. All right, a little small here, but this is the install. Uh, pretty straightforward, just click next. I leave pretty much everything as is here. Click next and then install. And you're gonna need to allow it uh, to install. There will be a little pop-up we have to run it as a, an admin, basically. And once it's done, I leave this Run Space Acres checked, and I'll just click Finish. And let me now get Space Acres coming up here. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Cool. So this, again, it's not an official... I mean, it's it's built by Nazar, who is on the Space Mesh team or Subspace team. I'm probably gonna mix up Subspace and Space Mesh a million times, um, but he's on the Subspace team. He built this unofficial GUI. Uh, he's updating it with tons of features so quick, especially for like a side project. Uh, but just keep in mind, you know, he's doing this, uh, you know, as like a side project, so it's not necessarily officially supported by Subspace. And for anybody new to subspace, you need to use an SSD. So you cannot use hard disk drive, it must be SSD. So click continue. And we wanna put the node in a specific location. So this isn't gonna be where you're putting your farm. This is gonna be where it's holding the, uh, like the state files for the blockchain. So you can't see my pop up here, but just find a place where you, you have at least like 60 to 70 gigabytes, maybe even more. I'd say at least 100, 100 gigabytes free. Um, I'm going to put this on my storage. And uh, it's just going to look like I'm clicking on nothing, but subspace state. Select. All right. I have this on my D drive, which is a one terabyte SSD that I have. And then you need to put in your uh, reward address. So let me grab that. Uh, nope, don't want that. Don't know what that is. All right, copy that. And let's bring this back up. Okay. So let me just paste this in here. And now we need to choose our farm. So I'm just going to choose this, the E drive, basically the whole thing. And I wish there was a way to like, maybe, doesn't look like there's a way to just easily select the entire drive. I wish I could just select the entire drive. But I know that this is 1.81 TB, so I'm just going to do 1.8 TB. What's this advanced configuration? Oh, so if you want to change your ports, it looks like you can do this here. I'm going to use the default ports. 
And if you want to do another disk, you could do add farm, and then you could put in you know, more disks. I only have one farm that I'm going to be doing, so I'm just going to stick with that. And then just click start. And there's a little pop-up that wants me to allow this, my Windows firewall. And you still most likely need to forward your ports because uh, it needs to basically to create the connections, you might still like sync without forwarding the ports, but it's a really good idea to go into your router or your modem, whatever you have, and make sure those ports are getting forwarded to the host that has space acres. That way you're gonna get the maximum amount of, of peers, which should be around like 40 or so. Um, but that's really it to get started. So what's gonna happen here is you can actually create the piece cache well you are syncing. So before, this is a new feature, before you would have to wait for the syncing to complete, then the piece cache would be created. Now the piece cache takes quite a while and it typically only has to be done once. Uh, if you're changing disk parameters, it might need to do it uh, more than once, but for the most part, uh, you just need to do it once. And once the piece cache is synced, then it will start plotting. So piece cache sync isn't the actual plotting, that's just preparing for plotting once the everything's synced and once the piece cache is 100% then you will start plotting and you need to be synced in order to start plotting so there's a few things that need to happen before you start plotting you can expect this to take a couple hours probably um, and this takes a little bit longer as the blockchain grows and then once uh, it starts plotting I think these are each of the sectors that you need to plot so you can just, they turn green or something like that after each one is plotted. Um, there's a context menu here, which you can't see, uh, but if you click this little hamburger icon up here, you have this about, there's an about icon and it gives you the version. There's some credits, there's a license, and then under system, that's gonna show you where your config directory is and your data directory. So you can go into there. And then if you want to update your configuration, there's an update configuration where you can add more drives or adjust the drive size as you need to. So that's really all you need to do. Again, make sure you're forwarding your ports and you're actually able to get the full amount of peers because that is going to allow you to sync and plot faster uh, because you're not going to be losing sync with peers. And every time you lose sync and you're not synced, then the farmer stops. So you have to be fully synced in order to be plotting. So uh, super essential. And that's it. So this is pretty exciting to have this on 3H. Uh, so far 3H has been bumpy, but it's it was the expectation set by the subspace team was that it was going to be bumpy initially. That's why the incentive, it's uh, 3G is still incentivized. Eventually they will flip it over to 3H when they think that it's ready. Uh, for everybody to move over. So anybody on 3H now is sort of doing like a pre, uh, pre-farm type thing where you can actually start plotting. So when they do switch it over, you're going to get more rewards than people who switch, wait and switch over, but you're missing out on the rewards on 3G. So it's really kind of a, you know, if you want to be first on 3H, you can move over uh, or you can continue to use 3G. Uh, so we can see the piece cache is starting to sync. We still haven't uh, there we go. We're starting to sync now. This is actually pretty good. It's looking like uh, I spent a while since I used Space Acres. I didn't realize that it would still give you like the amount of minutes remaining for it to sync. Uh, doesn't do that looks like yet for the piece cache, but uh, overall, some of these new features are really good. So I'll be syncing up here maybe in about 20 minutes, and then it'll start plotting. So I'm not gonna. Uh, keep you around for all of this as for the most part it's pretty straightforward oh one other feature um this has been around for a while but uh, oh you can actually click a link to get to your wallet by doing that i did not realize that you could do that um but you can see your balance here and as you start earning that'll go up so i right now rewards are turned off like i mentioned in 3h so even if you plot, uh, you're not going to get rewards until they flip the incentivized rewards back over to uh, or to 3H, not back, because there's it's not there right now. But all right, 
for real this time. I'm going to end this video. Uh, definitely recommend Space Acres. They have, uh, it works on Apple, works on uh, Linux, and it works, of course, on Windows, which is what I'm on right now. All right, happy plotting, and I will see you in the next video.